Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Charlene Lizette. Today's pick a card reading is to help you answer the question why you're still single. I've put out six piles and put together crystals on top of each pile, okay? Remember to use your intuition when picking the pile. Work with your third eye. Pause this video if you need to, okay? And I'm just gonna walk you through the crystals right now. Malachite, Rose Quartz, Ammonazite, Pyrite, Amethyst, or Smoky Quartz. Keep in mind that you could be attracted to more than one pile, so just use your intuition and watch a couple of the piles if that's what you're called to do. The timestamps are gonna be below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this reading and that it resonates with you. Keep in mind that it might not resonate with everyone. And also, if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our community. Please hit the subscribe and thumbs up button and like this video. And also turn the bell notifications on because every Tuesday I do free mini tarot reads for Tarot Tuesdays live here on YouTube. And I also post new videos every Tuesday. So I'm going to do the piles one more time and then we'll get into the readings. Pile number one on my side is Malachite. Pile number two on my side is Rose Quartz. Pile number three is Ammonazite. Pile number four is Pyrite. Pile number five, Amethyst. And pile number six, Smoky Quartz. Timestamps are below. See you soon. Group number one, you picked Malachite. The stone Malachite is associated with the heart chakra. It is associated with healing. This stone is really big for being able to be an acceptance of what is, understanding that the universe sometimes gives us what we need, not what we want, and being able to heal with acceptance and knowing that we are going through the process just as we're supposed to be going through. It's also about letting go and understanding uh, the journey and what's meant for us. So let me just make sure to put that here for you. And so I'm gonna pull out the cards right now. So we start off with the Seven of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So what I'm really seeing here, Group One, is that you are really, you're really in conflict of letting go and being able to just be an acceptance of what the universe has planned for you. You're in a battle. The Seven of Wands here is a massive card about battling and um, just being at odds. There's a choice here that you need to make, uh, Group One, Malachi Group. There's a choice here about moving on, accepting what no longer is. The Eight of Cups is really all about taking the lessons, learning the lessons from the universe, and just moving on from, from situations that are no longer serving you. And it seems that there's some type of struggle here where you're not really wanting to accept what it is. And that's probably why you picked this pile because maybe there is a challenge where you feel that you're unable to let go for some reason. For some of you, it's because you need to get more information. Um, perhaps you feel like you don't have the closure that you require in order to move on. For some of those, for some of you, I heard it has a lot to do with like past relationships that didn't work on. I'm just gonna pull the rest of your cards yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this because I like this way better. So you got get more information. You got Lord Shiva Transcendence. Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. This is telling me to really be strong. It's almost like rather than staying in this battle group, one Malachi group, the universe is calling on to you to realize that there is more out in the horizon. Look at this individual here. This individual is looking out into the horizon. Um, there's also a lot of, uh, I'm seeing gold here. So gold is your solar plexus. So alongside healing your heart, you also need to find the confidence to trust yourself and trust that the universe has better things out for you. And so in being able to let go, whether they be of old relationships and being in acceptance as to why old relationships didn't work out and being able to be an acceptance of the situation that you're in, it seems that you're holding on a little bit tightly. Um, and whatever that reason might be for you, you know, what I'm really feeling here is like, it's like a hesitation. It's almost more comfortable for you to stay 
where you're at in your life than to work towards something that you know is going to be way better for you. It's like that whole idea of letting go. It's the ego I heard. It's your ego doesn't want to let go. Your ego wants to stay where it is. But the universe is really calling on you right now to remind you that perhaps with your friend's help, group number one, you will be able to let go. I'm also hearing too, um, it's got something, you know, I've just got this new deck and it's really beautiful. And um, I'm gonna post all the decks I use below. It's called Wisdom of the Golden. Oh, I'm just trying to reach over there. Anyways, I can't see it, but check it out in the description box below. I literally just got these and I was connecting with these ones and the angel messages earlier today. And when I look at this, see how it says good fortune here and this woman is looking like behind her she's looking at the options that are available to her and so rather than being stuck in the present it's almost like uh, i'm feeling this concept of like be unstuck let go of your ego your ego is holding you stuck and notice how the green right so there's a lot of sacral that you need to work on and a heart chakra, but this is about realizing that there's so much good fortune for you. So much good fortune, so many options in the horizon. Even though this woman is looking here, this person is looking, well, oh, it's the same direction. Look at that. I was looking at them this way and they're backwards, whoa. But look, they're both looking to the horizon. They're looking at their options. They're seeing what else is available to them. And so if you're feeling like maybe it's your ego that's a little bit stuck a group on Malachite group and why you can't let go, really talk with your friends, you know? Maybe you need to have conversations as to what you loved about these past relationships or these past experiences or these past partners. And in being able to have those conversations, it'll really help you to let go, be an acceptance of what is, to heal your heart and welcome all this amazing good fortune. For others of you, what I'm really seeing here is get that information. Maybe your friends can help you in getting some information, but it's almost like you seek some type of closure. And so I would really, you know, work together with your friends and yourself through meditation, um, through soul searching, because the universe is giving you the steps that you need in order for you to move on. So why aren't you moving on step uh, step one? Why aren't you moving on group one, Malachi group? You know, I feel like if you really took the time to heal and let go of that ego, you would be able to heal, be an acceptance of what is, move on and love would come your way. So group one, that's basically why you're single right now. Hopefully that answered some questions for you and gave you some guidance as to how you could move on in your life to be able to embrace new love into your life. All right, group number two, this is the group that picked Rose Quartz, okay? Rose Quartz is all about being able to embrace self-love, accepting uh, ourselves for who we are, for what we are, and not really changing ourselves at all for anybody else. You know, if there's something that you want to work on yourself so you can bring yourself up and raise your vibration that's 100% in alignment with you, then go for it. But really don't change who you are to be able to bring new love into your life. That is really what I see in the Rose Quartz and what I'm feeling from Rose Quartz. It's also about just embracing love for what it is, you know, the little moments. Um, it's about um, being in acceptance for the little gifts that the universe gives us. Okay, I'm just going to bring all the cards out. There's also something here to be said about healing. Okay, you got a lot of green here. Again, green does work with a heart chakra. Heart chakra is pink or green. So I just wanna, before I read the tarot cards, I wanna pull out Hilarion, which is your keepers of light message. Divine healing, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. And I also find that your angel message was helpful people. So let's just go through your reading and I'll read the rest of the cards, okay? You start off with the Five of Pentacles. 
The Five of Pentacles, again, there's that little heart and it's in pain. The Five of Pentacles, whenever I say this, it's very much an oh, woe is me card. Uh, rather than looking at the opportunities that the universe has given you, rather than focusing on all the blessings that you have in your life, group number two, Rose Quartz, um, you're living in a lack mentality. And that lack mentality isn't giving the opportunity for your heart and uh, your space with around yourself to open yourself up for new love. What I'm also seeing here is there's one, some type of completion that has happened in your life where I'm feeling like it's left you feeling, I don't want to say lesser than, that's not the right word, but what I'm really feeling, it's like it's left you yearning for more because you have the six of cups here. So I see that you're seeking some type of soulmate connection group number two. You really, really want to have that soulmate connection. But also you're living a lot in the past. You're living in that woe is me and that lack mentality. Oh, all these things that didn't work out for me. And so you're not allowing your heart at the moment group number two, to really embrace the gifts of the universe. The universe has brought something to completion for you because there is something more, you know, because maybe perhaps the soulmate wants to come into your life and, and you're living in the past, in the memories, rather than focusing in the present. What I see here is helpful people. So I see there are people in your circle that not only want to help you heal, but want you to understand that you are a healer yourself, group number two. And so perhaps in working together, I heard working with children and I also see here, you know, I saw that because if you look at the angel, she's holding a baby, but there's also children in your romance card. And there's also children depicted in the six of cups. And so I feel like for a lot of you, perhaps doing some charity work, perhaps working together either at a school, volunteering at a school, or volunteering for a big brother or big sister will open up your heart to healing and to being able to embrace new love into your life. You know, with the children showing up, your love life is a being affected by children. Perhaps some of you um, had that completion come up through a separation or a divorce okay, or a situation where you were left as a single parent, or perhaps you made the conscious decision to be a single parent. However, having said that, rather than embracing it fully, you live in that lack mentality of, oh, it's so hard to be a single parent. Oh, you know, I have it harder than other people. And really here, there are people that want to, one, help you, and two, there's a big calling to heal your heart. Whether you're a mom or you're not a mom or a dad or you're not a dad, there's really this call to one, work with children or provide some type of charitable work, charitable work with children. Or moreover, there's really this calling here that I'm seeing about you. You need to stop living, and I shouldn't say you need, but you if you could stop living in lack mentality, then you could be able to attract more abundance into your life. The seasons of the heart here, again, if you notice, even though there's green, you see the, the, um, the leaves have started to turn yellow because it's about embracing change. Again, like, again, there's big green here, green, green, green again. You know, so it's to me, it's really about healing your heart. It's about healing in healing and being an acceptance um, that some things have to come to an end in order for new things to um, in order to make space for new things in your life and understanding that, yes, perhaps some maybe your relationship had to end with this person, but that's because this person wasn't meant to spend the rest of your life with you. Um, you know, group number two, I really feel like it has a lot to do with healing and providing charitable work with younger children that will open up your heart and allow you to attract love into your life. So group number two, Rose Quartz, that's why you're still single. Hopefully that answered your questions and provided some guidance for you. Hey, group number three, you picked Ammonazite. Ammonazite is personally one of my favorite uh, stones because it talks about speaking your truth. 
okay? It also has a little bit to do with healing um, and being able to uh, be in acceptance, but it's really for me about speaking your truth and being completely comfortable and confident in the truth and the messages that you need to share out into the universe, okay? So perhaps some of you need to have some type of conversations with some individuals who may have uh, wronged you or hurt you in order to attract love. So why are you single group number three? There's a big desire here, group number three, for you to find that love fulfillment, that Ten of Cups. A big, big desire. But again, to go back to this stone here of Ammonazite, there's some truth that you are not sharing, either with yourself or with people in your circle. The hair font, which is some Taurian energy, and you also got Leo, so two major arcana strength in the Leo. Um, but what I'm really seeing here is they're soul searching is what I heard. They're soul searching that needs to be done, group number three, Ammonazite group. There is soul searching that, that needs to be done within yourself, um, perhaps either through meditation, perhaps either through uh, working together with a counselor or with a psychologist or um, with, um, you know, with spirituality. Perhaps some of you do tarot, some of you um, have guidance goddesses that you work with or deities that you work with like I do, the Morgan who is behind me. Um, there's something here that you need to embrace, okay? Because it's very clear here that you're calling in your soulmate. I mean, we talked about that right at the beginning with that Ten of Cups, right? But there's strength in speaking your truth and letting go. You know, I really, I, I keep coming back to the strength card and the hair font. It's almost like either through meditation, through working with your chakras. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of chakras here. So I'm seeing um, blues again for your throat, which go in alignment with Amenazai. But I'm also seeing greens, which talk about healing of the heart, which sometimes can even be looked at through the Amenazite I'm in a Zite, um, stone and I'm also seeing confidence. So it's like these three chakras for you, group number three, uh, really need to be taken care of right now. It's almost like they're not in alignment. They're not balanced. And I feel like through meditation, um, through either doing a chakra work, Reiki, working with crystals, um, if you're into tarot and spirituality, connecting with your guides, um, and just being present in a moment, listen to meditation music, you're gonna be able to have the strength to let go of whatever is not your truth. Your Keepers of the Light card is Makhfaktar Babji and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, it's soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Yeah, it's it's really about, again, the hair phone. Remember we were talking about that. The hair phone for me, it, it's almost like you are going through some type of journey of spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment, sorry. You're going through some type of journey of spiritual enlightenment right now, group number three. And we must be able to do that and we must be able to, or rather, when we do that, we must be able to have the strength to let go of things that no longer are in alignment with us. Because in doing so, we actually call in our soulmate and we're able to receive that Ten of Cups energy that we desire. You know, I also want to point out this new deck. Uh, I don't remember the exact full name of it, so check it out. It's in the description box below. I was trying to look over there, but I can't see the full name. In this deck, it says Field of Dreams. But look, look at the woman's face, right? If we think about it, there's lotus flowers everywhere. Her garment is beautiful. She looks regal. She's sitting across lily pads. 
All green is the heart chakra. It's also abundance if we think about it from a financial standpoint. But rather than her have this happy face where um, she just feels at peace with the decisions that she's making and she feels at peace through her journey of evolution and of enlightenment, she seems a little bit down. Right? And so how can we continue on our journey of enlightenment? How can we attract our soulmate? How can we evolve as humans if we are not looking around us to all the beautiful things that the universe is giving us? This journey of enlightenment for you right now, group number three, Amanazite group, is a big one. It's really about speaking your truth. And so that's why you're currently single, group number three. Hopefully that answered some questions for you. All right, group number four, you picked pyrite. Pyrite is also considered fool's gold. It's really talking about, well, one, we can look at it from the solar plexus and the sacral plexus because it is this gold yellow. You can even think about it from grounding as well, but it really talks about bringing in financial abundance. So and I'm not gonna pull a card just yet, but I really, what I'm really hearing here, group number four, is that part of the reason why you may still be single or why you are single because you're watching this video is because you're really focused on your career, okay? You're working towards financial stability and financial abundance. I'm just going to pull out the tarot. So we've got the High Priestess, which is some Pisces energy, the Nine of Swords, and the Fool which is Aryan energy, Aries energy, and also kind of in alignment with fool's gold, right? Pyrite. You got two, two major arcanas, two major arcanas. And what I'm seeing here is right now you're manifesting and you're in this, this I hear this wheel or this energy, like this vibe of creating your financial abundance. Your using your intuition to be able to understand what it is that you need to do career-wise in order to bring this financial abundance. I'm also hearing that some of you, even though you're using your intuition, it's like the universe is sending you all these messages, group number four. You're getting all these messages, Pyrite group, where the universe is providing downloads, dreams, information, but rather than take that knowledge that the universe wants to give you, um, you're like, you're saying, no, 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 this isn't, this isn't right, or this can't be it. And so you're ignoring the messages, and in ignoring these messages from the universe, you're getting stuck in this Nine of Wands energy, or rather Nine of Swords energy. And the Nine of Swords energy, look, abundance. And this Nine of Swords energy has you up late at night. This Nine of Swords energy has you stressed out and, and, you're, and you're staying up at night and you have anxiety maybe or depression and you're worried and you're wondering like, oh, like I, I, you're, you're almost like so up in your head that you're blocking the messages from the universe because the universe is providing you with intu with intuitive downloads on a how you can create this financial abundance that you seek. The universe is also saying here, take a leap of faith. Trust. Trust that we'll catch you. Trust that we know what's best for you. Trust that we're steering you in the right direction. I'm hearing a lot of like, there's no need for you to be up in this depression, anxiety, sleepless nights, worry, constant concern. That that in itself, that Nine of Swords energy feels really strong for me. It's like, almost like, even if you were in a position right now where, where you were primarily focused on your career and focused on your financial abundance, if you removed this worry, if you removed um, the depression, the anxiety, the stress, what's keeping you, the sleepless nights, what's keeping you up at night, you could still have love while pursuing your career dreams and your financial dreams. It's like this stress is almost creating a blockage for you, uh, group number four. With the 
abundance card showing up here as your angel message. Like the woman here literally has a pot of gold. You don't got to worry. Diana has showed up from your keepers of the light. Um, all the tarot decks I use are below and the oracle cards. Um, Diana says focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. And I also love that she's got lots of gold. There's a lot of gold in your imagery here. Gold with the wings. Gold in the hair and the sword. Gold around the fool. So you don't have to worry about financial abundance. You don't have to worry about being able to meet your financial goals. That worry is really what's holding you back from, from finding a partner. And the primary reason why I'm hearing why you're single right now, group number four, express your love. Yeah, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know, what I'm feeling here is, what I'm feeling here is you have the blinders on, right? You are so like this. And it's great to have focused intention. But like 100%, but you're so like this that you're not giving a minute to even go like this. So yes, you could have your blinders on when it comes to your goals. Yeah, 100%, but you're not even looking anywhere else. And so how can love come to you if you're not opening up yourself to love? Like try flirting. I feel like even some of you might have somebody that you have your eyes on, whether you're female or male. I feel like some of you might have somebody that you have your eyes on, group number four, pyrite group. But you know what I heard? I heard I don't have my finances in order and so therefore I can't have love in my life. And that is such a self-limiting belief. So I would 100% remove that ideology, that thought, um, that that phrase uh, from your mind and from even your speech because it's not true at all. Again here, this woman, look at this card of wisdom. Green, abundant, right? Beautiful. Look at the peacock feathers. She is clearly not a woman who lacks. The universe here, I'm just... The universe here is giving you the wisdom. It's giving you the wisdom. It's sending you messages through dreams, uh, through synchronicities. Um, it, the spirit and the universe is really trying to connect with you. And like, I almost feel like this woman's like, ugh, like obviously like not ready. and. And maybe some of you aren't ready and that's part of the reason why you're still single but i'm almost feeling like a sense of impatience like i need to have my money in order first and then i can have love like that's not necessarily how love works perhaps even for some of you your romantic partner can be part of one of the pillars towards your success perhaps they have um you know some knowledge or connections within their circle networking a networking circle, sorry, that can support you in reaching your financial goals. So group number four, Pyrite group, that's why you're currently single. Hopefully I was able to answer some questions and provide you with some guidance. Hey, group number five, you picked Amethyst. Amethyst is an absolutely beautiful stone because it talks so much about healing, right? It's about healing. It is a massive stone of healing, of forgiveness, of self-acceptance of self-love and what I'm seeing here normally when we get the two of cups obviously a lot of people talk about like soulmates and relationships and partnerships but what I'm seeing here it's I feel like this is you with you it's you loving you for who you are it's you accepting you for who you are it's you looking at yourself in the mirror group number five amethyst group and saying i love you try that you know after you're done watching this video uh, or this part of the reading if this is the pile that resonated with you go to the mirror and look at yourself and even like if you need to put your hand up to the mirror because these two people are touching hands and so i really feel like it's almost like i love you Give yourself a hug, embrace yourself, look at yourself in your in the in the mirror, uh, or even at yourself, and name all the things you love about yourself. 
There are so many beautiful things about yourself. Even here, look at how in the Seven of Pentacles, this woman is adoring the fruits of her labor. It's like she's looking, she's in abundance, she's fully naked. She has embraced herself. So it's about enjoying the journey of self-love, of self-healing, of embracing yourself for who you are. You are currently going through this healing journey and that's part of the reason why you're single right now, group number five, is because there's still things that you need to heal at. I feel here with this five of wands, it's a lack of self-confidence that keeps you, I don't, stuck is the word I heard, but I'm not like, I don't love it, but stuck is the word I heard. It's, it's like, you're stuck, you're, you're, yeah, look at this, self-worth, we talked about that. No need to worry. Supreme protection. It is safe for you to love. Yeah, it's, you know, I really feel like part of the reason why you're still single and, and the, the biggest reason, group number five, is because you were hurt before. I, I'm hearing that for some of you, you may have been in an abusive relationship. You may have been in a relationship where it made you question your worth, your value, even if you were beautiful or handsome enough, even if you were worthy of love, it was, you know, out of all um, the piles, this is the one that's, I'm feeling heavy in your heart. It's like you need to learn to love yourself again. It's the relearning of self-love and self-acceptance. There's a battle that's going on within you. And the universe is saying, you don't have to worry about that. Let go of those, of those, of those ideas that people put in your head. For some of you, you might be, you might be, you might radiate so much beauty and love, not only from your exterior, but from your heart as well, that a lot of people are jealous of you. A lot of people are envious of you. And a lot of people probably, and I'm hearing empath, I'm hearing a lot of your empaths. And so a lot of you people absorb, a lot of you in group five, in the amethyst group, absorb that. You absorb that, um, uh, that that um, you absorb that that negativity, that jealousy, that spitefulness, and that's where that five of wands comes because it's a conflict because you really you're really wanting to love yourself, and I love that green terror showed up for you because it's supreme protection. You are protected. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. Okay. There's a really big opportunity for you here, group number five, to really embrace you, yourself for who you are. If we look at this woman here in the self-worth card, her wings are all tattered up. She's gone through some strife. She's gone through some battle, some big fight. Maybe with yourself, maybe with other people. But it's left you feeling a little bit defeated. Notice. She's on her knees, or maybe not on her knees, but she's squatted down. She's just had this big battle. And it's almost like she can't see the light. All she sees is darkness. And notice how there's green, green envy, right? Yeah. I'm feeling like, as the empath that many of you may be, there is a big calling here, group number five, for you to embrace who you are, trust, that the universe is removing all the toxic people out of your life. Get yourself some black tourmaline, 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 black tourmaline. Um, get yourself some black tourmaline and, and really focus on asking the universe to protect you from any negative energy because you are 1000% in a space right now, group number five, amethyst group, where it is completely safe for you to love. Okay, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
Yeah, group number five. That's the biggest reason why right now you're single. It's this imbalance of not knowing your worth and understanding to love yourself again and knowing that the universe has your back and is removing all these toxic people from you. Perhaps do a cord cutting ceremony. Like I said, wear protective um, crystals, meditate to the universe, ask the white light of the divine to divinely protect you from all the, the negative energy. And once you completely heal and, and see yourself in the mirror and love yourself for who you truly are, I really feel like love is gonna like quickly move into your life. So, so group number five, that's why you're currently single. Hopefully this video answered some questions for you and was able to provide you with some guidance. Hi, group number six, you picked smoky quartz. Smoky quartz really talks about um, letting go of resentment. It's the highest connection through the crown chakra to connecting, similar to clear cords. It's it's the highest form of being able to connect. But what I'm hearing here is you gotta let go of resentment. You gotta let go of the toxicity. You gotta let go of These ideas that you have that might be limiting in some sense because they're not allowing you to be in alignment. <laughs> and as I say that, the tower, the five of cups, and the eight of wands. The tower really just talks about uh, With this letting go of resentment, it's almost like your entire ideas around love and the reason why you're currently single is because these ideas have been misconstrued. Perhaps you've taken on information from other people who have tried to create this idea about love that's not in alignment with you. And so the foundation that you have around love and, and even perhaps in your life is not a solid foundation. And so you need to go through this tower moment, uh, this bringing down of everything that's not in alignment for you. And then from there, understanding that rather than being sad about what you don't have, you know, five of cups, again, similar to five of pentacles is a very woe is me card. You know, but I'm seeing here, the universe wants to gift you something. The universe is saying, hey, yes, there might be some spilled cups. Yes, perhaps your foundation needed to be shaken to its core. But just like the divine comes down to shake this because it's not solid at its foundation, the divine also gives a cup. The divine wants to give you a gift. In releasing this resentment, this toxicity, this negative energy, this, I almost feel like you need to do a dance like this, where you're just releasing. And releasing this, you will be able to come into this new power within yourself, group number five, Smoky Quartz, where you will be able to really like powerfully and quickly manifest what it is that you want into your life because you end here with the eight of wands. So I really see like almost like this tower moment shakes you, but then puts you right into alignment and boom, your power to manifest like this. You know, the universe is saying to compromise. So where are you being too rigid? Are you holding on so tightly that you're you're resisting this tower moment and so it's just happening? Are you afraid of this tower moment? Are you afraid that this tower moment is not going to be able to give you everything else that you seek in your life? Are you afraid that you're going to lose things in this tower moment? Are you being resentful and resenting this shakeup that's happening in your life right now? Because all of these things are part of the reason why you're single. It's because you're not facing your fear. Kali Lama, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. 
the universe here wants to have you quickly moving into this manifestation, which for a lot of you that are watching this, and the majority I think is, is attracting love. And the reason why you're not able to do that is because you're resisting. You're not compromising. Cooperation. You're not cooperating. You're not wanting to work together either with other people or with the universe to be able to have this tower moment, to let go of everything that's not in alignment, to let go of the people that don't serve you anymore, to let go of situations, of places. You know, no, you're not going to be in lack. Yes, you might lose these things, but in losing, you're also making space for so much more to come into your life. You deserve love. You're lovable. And I said this from the beginning, before we even pulled out these cards. There is a massive calling for you to ha allow, compromise with the universe. Say, universe, like, I'm afraid of this tower moment. Be honest. Face the fear head on. Say, protect me and guide me through this tower moment because I'm ready. I want love. I want to manifest all these things in my life. But I'm having a really hard time and I'm scared because there's a lot of unknowns. The universe and your angels and your deities, if you work with one, like I work with a Morgan, they are there to protect you. They are there to work together with you during your journey. Your angels, your archangels, whoever it might be, they are here. They want to work together with you. You know, there's. I just caught an orb here on the left of my eye, and I, do, I hope that the camera caught it too. But they want to, they, 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 I'm hearing like, we're here for you, is what I keep hearing. We're here for you. Whoever this resonates with group number five, smoky quartz, let go of the resentment. Like there's like a negative energy to you. And, and like, I mean this in the nicest way possible, but like negative energy can't attract abundance. And I feel like a lot of that negative energy is like, you want it your way or the highway, and you can't have that sometimes. In tower moments, sometimes you gotta shed everything. People, places, things, jobs, careers, people, everything. But you gotta face it head on. Rather than being a Debbie Downer about it. Face it head on. Compromise, ask the universe. Cooperate with the universe. Because through that cooperation, through working together with your guides, you will quickly manifest love because the universe knows you deserve it. Did I say group number five? Sorry, group number six. The universe knows you deserve it, group number six, smoky quartz. So trust that the universe has your back. Allow things to just unfold. Let go. Don't hold on to the resentment and the negative energies. Trust. Be in alignment with your true authentic self with a higher being, and you'll see how quickly love will come to you. Okay, group number six, that was your reading. Hope it helped answer some questions as to why you're still single. All right, everyone, that was your pick a card reading as to why you're still single. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated with you and if you like these kinds of videos. That's it for today. Peace out.